Player, the wide receiver at Texas, Xavier Worthy, who was just drafted into the National Football League. And ahead it goes to Gabe Murray, and a nice completion on first down. Ahead to the 12. Second down. Nice job taking what the defense is giving you. You've got them off the ball a little bit. Just go for those nice completions and move down the field. Ivory, a smooth operator, has a man wide open off the fingertips of Gogren. And it's incomplete. He had a step. I like that they are actually taking a shot here, watching. He does a good job keeping his eyes on field. Rush almost got to him. Ooh, just the fingertips there, but I like the extension. I'm sure he'll be wanting to get that highlight reel going later. Third down, midfield to go after the incompletion. Ivory will maneuver around the backfield. Heave one deep, has a man, it is caught. And this time, Mackay reaches the end zone. Wow, I mean, look, it was a great read of the defense. They were in man coverage Touchdown. there. Canada has Lennox to was just not one. able to keep up too much on that one, but great read by our quarterback, Ezra. From 38 yards out, Canada is on the board, and that heave was in stride from Ezra Ivory. Canada will go for one. You can go for the singular point from the five-yard line. A two-point conversion comes from the 10. International showcase portion of the weekend. These two teams with something to prove in Canton. And the pass falls incomplete. Kipton McLeod in the area. One more look at that 38 yard try. scoring no strike. Good. First Beautiful down, job being there in a man defense. And he just had the defensive back in a great position, ran right by him. Excellent athleticism. And who doesn't love a little showcase in at the end there? I mean, you got this was about right. You earned it. Show off your touchdown. Absolutely. Approaching 10 minutes ago, it's a running clock. It began at 12. Counts down here in the first half. On the end around, Trey Hulse scrambles close to the 20 and a good looking play for Australia. I love to see that. Get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Let them run. We talk about it so much Second here. Down. If Runner you've got pass. the ability to use speed and then increase those invasive moves as you're going, let's do more of that. Even Trey Souls, the quarterback. Little Statue of Liberty play. He'll fling it out into the flats. Johnson has it. Sidestep and the flag will be pulled there near the line of scrimmage and a penalty marker comes in. You got an illegal forward pass on the offense. Five yards from the line of scrimmage. Third down. That's always a tough one. You've really got to be alert, especially when you've got the pressure of the rusher coming on you and you're doing a nice job of keeping your eyes downfield. You've got to be able to see in your peripheral where the markers are, especially since we've got that great line judge standing there too. Trey Souls gets it cleanly across the middle. The pass is caught by William Smith. It'll be fourth down midfield to go. Fourth and down. Australia, Australia will need 10 yards. First down, Canada. And they will elect to punt a first down for Canada back at its own five. I think that's a smart idea. Just allow them another drive to survive here. They've done a good job on offense moving the ball. They should be happy with what they've seen so far, but they're going to have to think defensively in terms of Australia, what you're going to do against this Canada side who do have the speed. And that speed deep down the field we have seen on a couple of long passes already from Ivory. Crosser is not available to Isaiah Benjamin. Second down. That's a big play there for them, and there was much better coverage by the Australia defense on that one. I think Second they'll down. be looking to try and change it up, maybe give some different looks later on, throw in some zone as well. You mentioned the team from Canada winning the Hamilton Regional to make it this far. One, two, three. Head coach Jeremy McLeod, three years of head coaching experience with this squad. 24 years overall in football. Great flag pull there by Lennox and Guamo. Excellent job. I mean, the catch First was great. Goal. I love that he went to make another move there in regards to Canada's number four, uh, Maki. But we're going to, ooh, they're going to want to get that back too. Second down, goal to go. And the ball spotted at the 23-yard line. You have three downs once you cross Second midfield to reach the end zone. So this play becomes critical. Phoebe try to get some yardage and make third and goal obtainable. Hugely. And this is where your rush can be a big-time player. Wow. Great job by Australia there. They are really, like you said, standing up and being tough. 
McLeod, the grab. And stopped well goal. short. Third and goal coming up. Big play. They've got to get in the end zone. This side of the midfield, they only have three downs. That pass incomplete. McLeod, end zone for the score. Gabe Murray backtracks in from 23 yards out in Canada. Two early touchdowns. Touchdown Canada. They've elected to go for one. Just the high point of the football. I mean, they just stole the defense's eyes for that little mil millisecond. They had great coverage beforehand, and then he just cheated in. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to get there. Canada will go for one. Ivory with plenty of time. A late pass rush towards the corner, and the conversion is good. Extra point conversion is good. Nice little corner route there. Tackles, seeing all these great athletes, the co-ed division. It's a lot to process and unpack, but it's a phenomenal sport that's only growing exponentially by the day. It is, and you can see how invested people get in it because it's so much fun. It's such an explosive sport, and there's so many fewer barriers to understanding and participation. This is literally a sport for anybody, shape, size, background, who cares? Come get involved, play some flag. You will not regret it. Johnson stopped by Silveria. 13 to nothing, Canada leading Australia, more than halfway home in our first half. And time for Trey Souls down the field and incomplete. It'll be third and midfield to go for Australia. I do love how Australia are just having fun with the different formations and motions and really changing it up. I mean, that's what it's about, right? Find the find a way to make Third the sport down. your own. And especially if you come from a totally different country and you don't get to see how things are run here, you have the opportunity to be as creative as possible. And that's what it's about, right? Let the kids draw what they want to run. Draw a play up in the dirt. Trey Soul's pass was deflected and now intercepted by Gogarin. Oh, the turnover in Canada has been impressive to start in this international showcase. It's so interesting because the, all of this team from Canada are goal, actually Canada. going home tomorrow to go participate in a soccer tournament. <laughs> so they've got a lot in front of them in multiple sports, Phoebs. Oh, they do. And you can see that here, right? The footwork, the ability to change direction, feeling of space. They've done an excellent job and great field position now going forwards. 4.30 to go. Play clock running down in our first half. 13 to nothing. Canada with outstanding field position and more time for Ezra Ivory. Towards the goal line and incomplete. Yeah, just a, a bit of miscommunication there. I'm loving that the rushers come in. We just wanted to get a little bit faster there. You know, there's all these different Second and goal. methodologies, right? Do you come in with your arms up and try and block the view? But if you're fast like she is, just go straight for the flag. Put some pressure on the quarterback. Second down and goal for Canada. Ivory across the middle. The pass corralled by Benjamin. It'll be third and goal from there. Really nice flag pulling skills that we're seeing here from Australia. Good body position, coming in control to the flag and goal. Two hands on that one. That's always a good one, right? You want to guarantee that one of those hands is going to get a flag because all you need is one flag pull to finish the play. The art of grasping the flag. We just saw your uh, hit there with RG3, <laughs> and we learned a lot. Goal line, touchdown, and another score. Gabe Murray, his second touchdown grab of this half. Touchdown it's really Canada. hard when you they get down to this to area of the end zone. It is so condensed, and you end up a lot in that trail position. You'll see here, especially the center, right? We talk about them so much. They're such an integral part of your team. That corner route, and then you've got to shoot to the front pylon. You're looking for levels, looking for that person being out leveraged there. Great play call and design there from Gabriel Canada. Gabriel Murray has been very impressive with that athleticism, the ability to outleap the defender. And those two scores now going for the point after an incomplete through the hands of Isaiah Benjamin. So Australia comes Extra up with a nice defensive play no there. I mean, down, really tight Australia. coverage on that. It was a bit of that little pivot kind of whip move to the front pylon. Again, we talk about it so much. Those are the danger zones, front pylons, back pylons. It's just where everyone wants to hit it because it's between either you're getting it as a receiver or it's out of bounds. So Ruben Tresol's back on the field, the quarterback for Australia. International showcase, Tresol's under center. And the deep handoff goes to Trent Casey. 
Corral quickly in the flag pulled at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down. I like the idea that they're starting to move in and use that kind of under center, right? So we talk about as soon as that handoff is made and then you toss it back, the seven second clock is no longer there. So you're buying a little bit of time, hopefully adding the threat that you could either run or pass it. 19 to nothing, three touchdowns, one conversion so far. For Canada, across the middle, there's the Seabrouts. And all the way to the end zone, here comes Australia's Gavin Johnson. Wow, they are going to be so pleased with that one. But that is all it takes in flag. You just need to make one person miss. Timeout. Injured player near midfield will pause the action, 19 to 6. That's the kind of play that'll spark a comeback. And Australia showing some moxie. Touchdown, Australia. They've elected to go for two. Gabe Murray, the injured player for Canada. I mean, great move here. That almost fall helps him out. A little spin and then putting on the Jets to get into the end zone. Brilliant job there by Javen Johnson. He'll be very pleased with that. Interesting call that they've decided to go for two now as opposed to one. I think they're probably feeling the pressure of the score. But it's one of those things. It's You've got to practice going for two. One, you're five yards off. You could almost underhand it into the end zone if you've got the space and, and speed. So 127 remaining. Gabe Murray, the injured player, still on the turf at midfield. And the lead down to 13 after the long touchdown pass. Gabe to his feet. That's certainly a good sign and encouraging. It's great. Both these coaches from Australia have actually been coaching together for five years, and they've taught some of these kids for three years. So their background is actually teachers in school. That's how they've ended up qualifying this as a school's regional to be able to win the opportunity. But could you imagine that living in Australia and you've won this amazing regional and here you are in Canton, Ohio at the Hall of Fame. You couldn't dream of this stuff. And they've been having a great time this week. A two point conversion attempt intercepted and then the pass thwarted away at the two last point minute. Is no Took this good. team 28 First hours down, to actually Canada. get to Canton. A 14 hour time difference when you look at teams coming in from Sydney or Melbourne. And it's a, a long ways from home, literally on the opposite end of the earth. Oh, isn't that wild? You think actually it's tomorrow already back in Australia. So when they go home, I mean, that will be You Monday? lose two days? Would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go back to our math experts. <laughs> I've been to Sydney once. It was six years ago, and I still have jet lag. <laughs> Good catch and run. And the completion to Bahati. And Team Canada now on the move. Second down. And you look at Canada's side of the ball, I mean, their coaches, they've been coaching together for 24 years as tackle coaches, and three of those as flag. So you see a lot more ball start, of that. Number three on the offense, five yard penalty, third down. 19 to six, and time winding down here at the end of the half. Yeah, the coaches, I think, from Canada will be a little bit frustrated, and just some of the some of the minor penalties are getting here. It's all about the little details, especially when you're coming from a tackle background. You know the importance of this stuff as well. You want to instill this, and you want to make sure that you're playing to your highest level and ability at all times. So 19 to 6, Canada led by head coach Jeremy McLeod. He's putting on the headset now. We'll get his assessment of what Ezra Ivory and this explosive offense has done. Coach McLeod, we appreciate your time. 19 to 6, Ezra appears to be playing well as he normally does. What have you seen? Uh, just just overall the boys are playing well. They just got to start communicating keeping their game going um, You know, they're a really great great group and once they get out there and they start talking They're gonna be lights out now coach. I know there's a little bit of a, a Score difference here, but what are some of the goals that you're gonna create for them to make sure they stay locked in throughout this second half? Just keep reiterating our values of communicating and family and keeping us together. Just keep keep uh, pumping them up They'll get out there and do their thing. I have no doubt about that Coach, fun team to watch. Best of luck in the second half. Thanks, really appreciate it. 19 to 6, our score as we step aside the beginning of our second half back in Canton, Ohio. After this, Australia will take a look at those first half highlights, Beeps. I mean, great execution by the Canada offense and throwing that deep ball. I mean, they just outran their coverage there. 
awesome to see the athleticism across the board, even from our quarterback there, Ezra Ivory, ditching that rusher. And again, coming back to running that corner route to the center. Center is such a key part of the game in flag, just like the rusher is defensively. They can really change a game up. Now, this one was great to see the ability to find balance and be able to run down the field. The coaches earlier were telling us that Javen was one of the fastest players and so agile. So it was nice to see that in action. Stop and go spurt ability for Javen Johnson, getting Australia back in this game. They're going to have to find a way to score some points early, but with a chance, thanks to that long scoring strike from Trey Souls to Johnson. And away we go for the start of our second half. What's great to see is we've got different flags being represented out here. I see the Union Jack, the Canada flag, Australia, Mexico a little bit earlier. I mean, just countries out here supporting each other and seeing what an incredible event and stage this is First to show Australia the growth of the game out. internationally. Yeah, the players from Australia have been talking about this week how nice everybody has been in America, wanted to take pictures with them, photos, <laughs> and the quick snaps on the smartphones. Trey Souls, flag was pulled after he got rid of it. And there's a catch, Matilda Featherstone. I love to see that. That's one of the more common plays that you'll see in flag football, where you get that little shoot or drag from the far side, and almost like a fan-like going over the top. So you've got different levels. You're opening it up for the underneath route. Because again, it's all about getting the ball in your athlete's hands on the move. Great catch for the center for Australia. Trey Souls hands it off. And it was Johnson with the handoff to Trey Souls. No game of the play. Third down midfield to go. Still like that creativity. I mean, one of the things that we always say to our athletes is, why not down, draw it up, okay. give it a try, create your own play name for it, call it Banana Loop. Who, who cares? Are you having fun out there? You've tried it. It works. It doesn't work. We'll come back with more. Australia needs 12 yards for the first down. That's right at midfield. And a chance for three more opportunities towards the end zone. They're able to secure that first down yardage. One, two. Trey Souls wants to throw it, has a man. That pass is called again, Javen Johnson. Ball was ripped out as he secured the first down and stopped at the 16. I mean, he has been the life and juice this team needed. Speed coming across, great vision on the play. And it's okay, there are no fumbles in flag football. So it's first all right that he let go of the ball. They will take the spot from right before he lost possession. The first down and goal. Ruben Trey Souls, the quarterback for Australia. 28-hour trip just to make it to Canton, Ohio. They won their Aussie League. Matilda Featherstone, her second catch on this possession. And a flag comes out as well. I really like that you're looking at how the Canada defense are sitting back a little bit. And so make sure, make them have to work for it. Get those five in outs. Put them in a position to have to play every inch of the field. There is no penalty on the play. Second and goal. So Featherstone gets it all the way down near the goal line. This is great position for them. They just got to be smart about their play call. I mean, look, you're on second down. You'll have another second attempt. Goal, it's okay. Again, even in terms of a quarterback, you can throw it away. You will not be penalized for that. Front pylon nearly intercepted. Tilly was open for a moment. The center, Matilda Featherstone again. Instead, it's now third down and goal. Big possession and a big play coming up. Yeah, you can see where you wanted to put it. Just has to be a goal. little bit quick, Pass get that roll out nice and fast, or be patient and look back to your center who is sat patiently in the middle. We talk a lot about trying to replace the blitzer, especially in this area of the field where it's so condensed. I mean, you're only about two yards off the ball here. Australia trying to stay in this game across the middle in traffic and the ball was caught for the touchdown. Javen Johnson again, he has been everywhere in this game. He has been incredible. Touchdown, a little Australia. sauce, a little they spiciness at the end of that two. play. I mean, great hands, good vision by the quarterback, cuts it back. 
I mean, he held on to that ball through contact. Nothing easy about that grab, right? At all. And I think really what happened is it helps to have that shoot from the from the center, especially because that's normally where you think you're going to go, right? Those front pylons, it dragged the defender's attention away. Four catches, 67 yards, two touchdowns, Javon Johnson, and now going for two. It means this play originates from the 10. In and out of the hands, and the pass incomplete. That was right at the goal line, no and Johnson First down. loved to have Canada. that one back, but that pass came in hot. It did come in hot. He got his head around, but just securing that. I'm, I'm a big fan, I'll be honest, of going for one from the five, secure the catch, get the points on the board. It's a much tougher matchup because you're just looking to out-leverage your defenders. Uh, when you go for two, you're adding another complexity. Remember, from two, you could technically run the ball. Canada with possession again. Murray appears to be healthy back on the field and the catch out at the 11. I like having a good hitch route or comeback. It just starts to build that confidence and relationship between the quarterback and the Second receivers. Down. Flag football, all you need is about six, seven yards. Every play, you just inch your way down the field. Gabriel Murray's played every position imaginable behind the defense towards the end zone and another touchdown for Gogarin. You know, Mackay Gogren reaching pay dirt again, and how about Touchdown that speed? They have elected to go <laughs> I mean, for what one. a great play. You go all hitches, then you go a hitch and go from your slot. I mean, you don't need hitches and short stuff when you can just throw it deep every play. 39-yard <laughs> scoring strike there, Phoebe. Brilliant job. And the speed, and again, you see that, that presence from someone trying to pull your flag and the hips go forward. Just that little move makes all the difference. They'll go for one, this time from the five-yard line. Ivory, traffic, and it's caught for the one-point conversion. One-point conversion is good. Really Time nice out. play call. Again, just on the front of the end zone. You only have to get it about five yards. So look at this big play to go hitches, and then hitch and go there from number four from Canada. Just a great eyes tracking the football and attack it. Let's go for a touchdown. Fun week, and what a location right here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The all time greats have honored Whoa. forever. An interception out of nowhere. Caleb Bahati flew in to grab it before stepping out of bounds. Wow. Oh, they, it's looking like. They've called it out of bounds. In flag, you have to at least get one foot in, so that would have been so tight, but way to attack the ball here. Second down. Uh, it looked like he just landed in the air with that one foot on the white, but great call by the officials. Yeah, right foot came down right as the left foot did. Out of bounds. Contact on the pass, and Javen Johnson comes up empty, and there's the penalty marker. Johnson remains down on the turf. I thought it was an interception. I thought it was valid. That does look like an interception there. But that's what it comes down to, right? This is all about what you see in the moment. The officials have their certain spots they got to be looking at. And at the end of the day, human error is always the thing. Now that we've got some lovely replay. <laughs> we got unnecessary roughness. Defense, 10 yards from the spot. Automatic first down. Oh, the first down after the collision on the attempted pass. And Johnson appears to be okay. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a hand to the face first when and goal. the DB was going for the football. These things happen. It's a bang-bang play. And, and incidental contact does occur. More than halfway home in our second half. Trey Souls, pressure, avoids it, and the pass sails high and incomplete. Yeah, interesting job by the defense. They started a bit further back coming down. They're doing a nice pickup of their offensive players, and, and it's making it a bit confusing there for the quarterback. Second down, goal to go. Ball spotted outside of the 22. Length of the field is 50 yards. Towards the end zone. High there, and there's the grab. And the reception made, Xavier Guamo from 22 yards out. Wow. Touchdown, they will be very pleased with that one. I mean, two. showing their opportunity to throw the ball deep like that. 
quarterback rolling out and throwing it all the way back across the field, but he bought some time. Nice arm strength. Again, you've got to think about all the different sports these kids play and how integral that is into building your different body movements here. Two-point attempt now for Australia. Trey Souls, back corner, and incomplete. 26-18 remains the score. No good. Four minutes remaining, and that clock running down. Really nice breakup, too, by Cal Bahati there. Canada. I mean, it was a good little corner route to the back, and he just drove down on the ball. In those situations, you don't need to catch it, just knock it down. So Canada gets it back, and obviously they would love for this clock to just continue to tick, tick, tick away. The play clock, 25 seconds in between every single play. What would be your strategy here? I think you've got to just be able to march it down the field. I mean, you've got three minutes 30 left. Get your kind of six, seven yard chunks all the way down. Get that first down and then run the ball a little bit more. I mean, Australia has shown that they are a threat deep, so you're going to have to respect that going forwards. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. Ezra Ivory, awfully impressive once again. And a short pass to McLeod. Stop two yards short of midfield and a first down. Third down, pass only. Canada also are out. Gabriel Murray looking like he had a bit of a knee injury, number 10 earlier. So he was a great player for them, too. He seems to be walking around being a little better. But now they're in the no-run zone. Keeping that in mind, five yards out, you cannot run the ball. And a false start, unfortunately. False start, number four on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Four. Coach is going to start getting a little bit frustrated with the discipline Canada here. has elected to go for it. Fourth down. This play becomes huge for Ezra, Ezra Ivory and this Canada team. They'll walk over to the sidelines, get the play call, and go back to work. It's bringing me back to the Ravens when Lamar Jackson and Harbaugh talk about it. Are we going to go for it or not? I mean, this is confidence and faith in your team. Ivory is caught. There it is for the touchdown, Bahati. We are going tit for tat touchdown on this one. Canada. What a game we've They're got here go on the international two. division. Five touchdown tosses now for Ezra Ivory. Well done. Oh, and the Australian defender just flying in there. But the confidence there from coach and Caleb Bahati really doing a nice job. Oh, inches. That's what we love about this game. Two-point attempt for Canada. Back corner. And grab. And how about two feet inbounds for good two measure. Gogarin again good. comes up First clutch. Down, Australia. This team are just starting to cook now. Turning on those jets. I mean, this is more like the team that I saw at the Hamilton Regional. I mean, they have a nice relationship with each other. You see that right tip in the end zone ball placed perfectly and again that high point which is so key yeah, canada family oriented team according to the coaches bahati battling backwards penalty marker comes in william smith the intended receiver in plus territory looking like a, a pass interference defense number 11 spot foul automatic first You've got to make sure you can't push through the player, you can't push off. Remember, this is a non-contact sport, so any contact like that, unless incidental, is not going to be allowed. Under a minute to go in the game, and an interception. Gogarin comes away with it. And the flag pulled on the opposing 20-yard line. Just 25 seconds remaining. And how about Canada? You mentioned it's starting to cook late. We feel that here in the last five or six minutes. Massively, and especially First on both sides Canada. of the ball. I mean, great, great flag pull by William Smith from Australia on that one. But this is where Canada, they've got that advantage. And if they understand the game, they play it all the time. We're getting a timeout here, it looks like. Canada calls the timeout. Two remaining and just seven seconds to go. And timeout perhaps one Canada. more shot at the end zone. Yeah, they have the ability. I mean, their quarterback has a really strong arm. He'll be looking for the different route concepts to come in and trying to get them to the back of the end zone, probably looking at your back pylons on this play. So it's either your receiver or nobody. The first down and goal. And for the team from down under, 
What a performance it has been to get here, traveling some 28 hours, long ways from home on the opposite end of the globe. And here they are representing and representing well. Absolutely. And looking like you've got a running back in the backfield. I mean, you could be looking at a handoff to kill the seven second clock, allow for more time. First Perhaps and goal. Even running the ball, your first and goal. I mean, if you think you've got, you can do that in seven seconds. <laughs> Ivory has it, avoids the pressure, looking downfield. And the flag is pulled, and that will do it. Andrew Aros with the reception to close this one down. A nice show of sportsmanship. 34-18 to 18 is the final in our international showcase.